Hey, what's up? It's Rob. Welcome back to day three of our Random Horror Night series. So just to recap last episode, we crafted a forge, we did a buried supplies quest, we did a quest at the poppin' pills, we crafted a pickaxe, and we killed a bear. So last night I started a mine, and I just started digging right here, and check this out. I started going down, and we actually have iron. Not that spot right here. Uh, right here. We have iron directly under us, which is pretty sweet. So I mined up some iron last night, so we're going to make sure we throw that into the forge and get it going. Let's grab these frames. All right. I need to fix this whole little entrance thing. It was kind of messed up, but we'll get to it. I also crafted these little uh, areas for me to be able to jump onto the base since the bear destroyed our garbage can. So the plan for today is to continue our quest looking for a wrench. But before we do that, I do have a couple skill points that I would like to spend. All right, so let's see here. Um, what do I want to go in? Kind of really want to put a point to Treasure Hunter since I've been uh, doing a lot of buried supplies, but I feel like my points could be better used somewhere else. Like maybe another into Javelin Hunter, but I don't know. Uh, Motherload. Let's go into Motherload since we have the iron under us, and that'll help us get more iron as we harvest. And let's see what else we got. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. And actually, you know, why don't we go Daring Adventure since we're doing questing? All right, let's go find a house to raid. This place looks just as good as any. It's not too far away, and hopefully we'll be able to find a wrench here. So let's get up into this room here. And do we have someone in this closet? Nope, it's just bags. Anyone in... Oh, this is the hallway. I thought this was the bathroom. Let's see if we got someone here. Nope. Looks like I'm waking someone up. Ah, right. morning, dude. All right, let's run him out here. I have a goal today to not get hit at all, and I'm not gonna let the first zombie we fight ruin that. All right, here I'm. Lots of people waking up. This one right here. No, how about the other side? Yep, we got one guy. Let's wake him up. And I'm hearing at least like two or three people. Slow down, dude. <laughs> Nice. I think they're probably downstairs or outside, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think they're upstairs, though. Let's see, what we got nice. The bicycle chassis. Okay, we have to make it a priority day to try to make a bike. We basically found every single thing that we need. Besides the wheels. Alright, we got one guy sleeping right here. And look, it's that weird arrow glitch. And watch, when I shoot, I actually lose an arrow from that. Alright, let's get him. Ooh, right to the chest. Hey, don't get too comfy there, buddy. <laughs> yep, she was coming in from outside. Um, what we got here? Ooh, we got a guy here. Let's sneak attack him with the spear. Oh, so the spear only does 1.5 times sneak damage, but the bow does 3.5, so that's actually something to keep in mind. Get back downstairs, dude. Oh, here she comes. Let's put her back. And get another one. And is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. We got someone waking up here. Uh, are these better than what we're wearing right now? Yeah, they are. We'll keep the cowboy boots on. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's just outside. Let's uh, keep searching this kitchen here. Alright, still no wrench so far, but let's keep going out here in the garage. So we got one here, get her, and one sleeping in the corner. Let's get her as well. <laughs> I probably cut that closer than I should have. Alright, she's stuck on the railing, nice and easy. Alright, and 
she's gonna be stuck there too. And oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get in this main bedroom here. I'm pretty sure this is where the main loot is. And we got a sleeper and <laughs> there's the bow glitch again. Alright, let's get her. Nice. Okay, let's see if there's one in this cover. Actually, I don't think she's dead yet. Oh, she did that animation like she was dead. Alright, there we go. Alright, someone in here. Yep, we got one guy in here. Alright, sounds like we're waking someone else up, but that's gotta be from outside because this whole place should be cleared of zombies. Um, let's just shut this door here. Yep, there he is, trying to get in from outside. Surprised he didn't die on the spikes that were right there, actually, but let's just shoot him with the bow. Let's get out of here. And we can start harvesting up some of these materials. Could use a concrete mix. We'll actually get this stone as well. Oh, is that a loot bag? Oh, nice. Thank you to whoever dropped this. Oh, steel and antibiotics. That's pretty good. Fortunately, we have no room to take this. Um... Let's see, what are we gonna do here? I guess we could get rid of the... Oh, that hurts me. I guess we could get rid of the uh, clay soil, though. Um, what else can we do? Um, I wanna keep all of this. I guess we could scrap the nails. We'll take the antibiotics. All right, guys, so I made a big mistake. So I tend to pause when I play, I tend to pause my videos every so often just to kind of make sure I'm not having like super large files. And apparently I did not hit record when I started the next one. Um, so we are at hour 15 and I've done a few things. I'll try to show them as we walk back to base, just a few places I looted. I didn't end up taking any quests from the trader. Um, but I was right in the middle of fighting the zombie and then I just realized that I never hit record. Um, so we'll just jump right into this and Unfortunately, it is what it is, but we'll just keep going with today and maybe I'll do some nighttime stuff tonight since we uh, since we lost so much of the video. And of course I had paused it like right at the wrong time and I knew she was going to hit me, but at the moment that I realized that I hadn't been recording the video, I just, my first instinct was just to pause it and be like, you know, what did I just do? Sorry, we'll get her down. So I actually think that was the first time I did get hit today. Um, I've been really careful, like especially the last episode. Um, I was trying to be really careful and unfortunately, you know, she just did hit me, but she also caught me in the middle of a situation that I did not expect. Alright, so we just got a lot of books. Let's take a look at these quick. So we got, you can craft shotgun magazine, food mods, nice. Uh, do 20 summer damage to claim land property, eh, but we're a single player. Uh, Fire-based weapon effects like on torches, 10%, nice, and find 10% more jewelry and precious gems when looting. So I don't think there's any jewelry in the game, but that is a nice one to have. And increase projectile speed and range by 15%. So that actually makes our javelins throws stronger and better. So hopefully we'll be a little bit better with our spear here as we keep going in this house. Nice, and we got a loot bag, and wow, this dude was loaded. 500 cash. Alright, let's push into this room, and uh, you know what, let's just back up. I don't know where that person's coming from. Yep, she was right around that corner. Oh, that was just a fantastic spear throw. Right, just get her with the sledgehammer. Back up, lady, back up. Alright. Another lady sleeping here. Let's get her with the bow, and we'll switch to the spear, and nail her with the spear, and... <laughs> How in the world did I miss that? We actually did just get some acid, which is awesome for crafting wheels. And, you know, what do we actually need for a wheel? Because I really want to make that bicycle today, so... Um, I think the only thing we actually need is coal. Oh, waking someone else up. <laughs> you know what? I deserve to get hit there. 
I mean, I got 15% stronger and farther spear throws, and I literally missed, like, my next three straight spear throws. And my blunderbuss was not reloaded. This is just... I, I deserve every bit of getting hit there. I went from just playing really good all day to playing sloppy as soon as I started recording again. Yeah, double tap. So let's get out in this garage here. Just want to make sure, I really want to loot this kitchen. I just want to make sure that nobody's out here so I don't get like hit from behind. I'm actually not seeing anybody. I don't see anyone on this ledge. We actually might be clear out here. There's gotta be someone right here, right? Yep, and there she goes. All right, let's, let's just use the blunderbuss in her. I'm pretty sure she's the only one. And someone else is waking up. I hear the music starting, so there's got to be at least one more. Yep, here he is. Let's hit him. Just keep checking our back. And let's get him one more time. He should be dead. Hey, what? what? Hey, where did she come from? Where's she? Shotgun. Oh, crap. I just double shot. No. Okay, I'm seriously going to die. Uh, why do I keep double shooting? Okay. <laughs> Am I just clicking the button too fast? Oh, man. 23 health. Are you serious? Okay. Um... All right, so we have a concussion, so let's use these painkillers. That should get rid of that. And I don't have any antibiotics, so I guess we can just use the first aid bandage to try to bring up some of our health. Oh, man. Why was I double shooting with the shotgun there? I don't understand if I was clicking the button too fast or what was happening, but that almost killed me wasting two rounds on each person. <sighs> Unbelievable. Let's get our spear. Come on. Yeah, I seriously have no idea. Could they have been sitting up there? I actually don't think I walked in and checked that. Maybe they dropped down. Okay, with the shotgun, does hitting the right trigger double shoot? Nope, that just aims, and I got hit for literally nothing. Alright, so I literally was just double clicking it too fast. I thought maybe it was like, double shot was the right click button, so I thought maybe I'd test that, and that was a bad idea. Alright, let's get this blunderbuss reloaded, and nobody's coming at the moment. And sweet, here is the main loot. What is out this little wooden panel spot here? Is there anything out here? Um, yeah, it looks like there's a purse. And oop, what's going on here? Might be something on the other side of that wall there. We'll have to go check that out after we get the rest of this loot. All right, so let's get out here and we'll go check out that other side. Yep, look at this sneaky little room. Oh, there's a zombie corpse. And I don't need rotten flesh. Alright, let's get going home here. It's uh, almost hour 30, and we got a decent little trek to get home. And actually, let's, uh, let's put a flag here just so we know where we're going. Actually, we should mark all this stuff. So let's mark the trader. And we can put a mark on our home as well. Here we go. And this way we know exactly how to get where we're going. Alright, so one of the things that I did when the video cut out that I didn't record was actually I raided the Shamway Foods here. And I'm not sure exactly what's up with that place, but there wasn't a main loot. And I feel like with as big as a building that that was, there should have been something in there. But I don't know. I, I kind of went through it all and I didn't see any main loot. There was 
I think like a Shamway crate on top, but that was it. So I also raided this little garbage thing here as well. And all that was in there was just a wolf that I killed. So that was basically all I did in the video that I lost. All right, so I'm gonna go through my inventory, get everything organized, and then we're actually gonna take a look and see what else do we need, or what are we missing in order to craft the bicycle. Okay, so this storage chest here is gonna be everything that I wanna take and sell to the trader in the morning. So it's kind of like our, the good things that we found and what we're gonna sell, chest. All right, so I went through my inventory in here, and the only thing I'm actually missing is coal to make the wheels. Um, so I think we're going to go venture out right now. Since we lost some of the footage um, from earlier in the episode, I think we can make this go into the night, and we're going to go see if we can find some coal. And actually, you know what? I got an extra spot. I'm going to grab another blunderbuss just in case we run into a couple zombies or something. I want to make sure we have plenty of things to be able to shoot at them. All right, so I have actually no idea where I'm going to look for this. Um, let's look at the map here. So when you see these kind of these dots around the map, those mean that there's some ore there. So I'm just going to head down here. looks like there's several patches. We're just going to head down here and just keep an eye out to see if we can find any coal. We'll be very careful to make sure that we don't alert any zombies that we're coming. Let's see. I don't know, just lots of stone. I've seen lots of nitrate powder and obviously iron. I know that coal, I guess I'm pretty sure that coal can spawn in the forest, but I'm not 100% sure how that works. Like obviously it would be very, very um, plentiful in the burnt forest biome, which I have no idea where that is. I haven't seen any biome but the forest, I think, so far in this world. Um, oh, let's get this uh, sports bag here. Ah, I'll scrap both those. Um, but so I know there's got to be coal here, but maybe it's just super frequent. So I don't know. We'll just keep running around here, try to avoid zombies, be quiet, and see what we can find. Nice. And hopefully this will be relatively painless. Ah, that wasn't a good shot. Come on, dude. Oh. Got him. And you know what, let's just use a blunderbuss on him. His eyes are glowing. That means he is considered a feral. And ferals have more health and do more damage. So let's just kill him. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. And I don't think this other one's even reloaded. Uh, yeah, let's try to reload it quick. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. I should just use a shotgun. <sighs> Alright, let's take him out. Uh, hopefully that didn't alert anyone. I don't hear anyone. Let's get this reloaded. And actually, you know what? I forgot about that infection. I need to go home and take an antibiotic. And we could also get some healing as well. So let's run home. We'll get some healing, cure the sickness, and then we'll keep looking for coal. All right, so we'll use our antibiotics here. And what do I even have? Um, I could eat this hobo stew, but I don't really want to waste that. Um, eat this food. I guess we could take a painkiller. And we'll just drink some water and just make sure that we're super hydrated. Let's keep going here. Um, what direction do we want to head? So we were that way, so let's actually go... Let's go back over here. I don't know. We can kind of head behind this big shotgun messiah and see if there's something... A coal mine that we can use. Alright, we got another zombie here. And this is the direction I want to go, so... We're going to have to take him out as well. Um, try this again. Oh, that was just a terrible second shot. Lead him and... Oh, are you serious? There we go. Alright, well... Let's actually see if we can get him with the spear here. Yeah, in the face. Oh, I'm actually out of stamina. Let's just blunderbuss him. Um, not hearing anyone. So, let's just keep going. And, oh, what's this? Uh, oh, that's where I had to bury supplies. All right. More nitrate powder. Perfect. Come on, there's got to be some coal. Maybe there isn't coal in the forest biome. I don't know, because I'm not seeing anything. Uh, this is just a whole waste of a night. I should have been mining underneath the base instead of sitting here walking around for coal that I'm actually never going to find. 
Let's see. I'm not seeing anything. And oh, look at that! <laughs> I just circled right around it. Perfect. All right, we are home finally. So let's grab everything we need. We're gonna need acid, and let's actually see what else we need. Oh, scrap polymers. Okay. All right, we got some of those. And we're gonna have to craft some forge iron. So let's get over here into the forge. And I don't wanna make it, we'll make it like 50 pieces. That should be fine. There'll be plenty of forge iron. And oh, we have a visitor. And ninja. <laughs> All right, so we got some forged iron here so we can start crafting these wheels. All right, let's go to this crafting in. Oh no, I'm gonna need a workbench <laughs> No! Oh, I completely forgot about needing a workbench. And we've found like four destroyed ones so far. Oh, is that another zombie? Ugh, I cannot believe I forgot about needing a workbench to craft all of that. I can't even craft the chassis or the handlebars without a workbench. What was I thinking? Okay, there are... I'm guessing a wandering horde is coming through here. Because I see at least a couple people down over in the Shamway Foods parking lot. So we'll get her with the spear. Nice. Alright, come back. Get wrecked. It's almost morning. Um, we're just a few minutes away, so I'm going to call the episode here, and we're actually going to pick it up again here in just a few minutes on the morning of day four. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing for more 7 Days to Die content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.